Aloha everyone, I'm Malika Dudley. Being a Hilo girl, the stories coming out of Puna are tragic, emotional, and deeply personal. Some of you may know my sister Emily evacuated along with so many others. She's six months pregnant and her midwife, Roxanne Estes, who's birthed more than a thousand babies on the Big Island, just discovered her home is surrounded by lava. Luana Gardens, the maternity care home that's been a pillar of the Leilani Estates community for the last five years. It's still standing, but in the middle of the danger zone. Today, with this story, on this Mother's Day, we celebrate moms and those who support and care for them. Roxanne is my midwife. This is Ronan Makani Sensuki Downing, who was the firstborn at Luana Gardens. He was 175, and that was back in November, so we've had to broken 200 by now. Noelle was birthed at North Hawaii when Roxanne was doing her um, continuity of care. This is Kala'i, second uh, experience at Luana Gardens for us. She knows them all by name. She knows everything about them. She remembers their birth in detail. Brother, you were born at Luana Gardens. Mm -hmm. Back in 2008, we fell in love with her. Every time I had a baby, we'd be like, where is Roxanne now? And by the time we had brother, she had her Luana Gardens, and we were actually the 50th birth there. And such a wonderful experience. She has the most beautiful home where you just feel safe and at peace. And to know that Luana Gardens, a place that's so special to me, where I birthed my kids and where my older kids got to experience taking care of their brother and learning more about him, may not ever open. It was just so sad. Many in the community are devastated by the news. I just had a feeling like in my heart of just another loss, really upsetting. And I just felt like, man, that why, why did it have to be her? The day before the eruption was like any other Wednesday. She you know, held our village prenatal day to gather and to share stories and be with each other while she sees her prenatal clients. Because the next day, you know, she was without a home and without her business. Josh and Colleen know how it feels. They too were evacuated from their home in Leilani Estates. It's been about a week and um, the reality is really setting in of you're not going home and these things are lost forever. And, uh, you know, many people were able to save their things, but they're just things. The sense of home is something that's irreplaceable. And this is just the very beginning. We don't even know what's coming next. The unpredictability of, of it is very unnerving. Giving birth is inherently unpredictable. And Roxanne's expectant moms are wondering what's next. And now that it's closed, I'm pretty confused. Not quite sure what we're going to do. Of immediate concern are six moms due within the next few weeks. I think if we could secure a new spot shortly, it would be really, really helpful. Roxanne and Nikki are actively searching for a rental, and friends have retrieved some items and equipment from Luana Gardens. Our community has been so fortunate to have her. Just hope that we're able to continue to benefit from, from all that she has to offer. She provides an incredibly safe option with her credentials and her level of experience to have her uh, in our community. It enhances our community. Though facing an uncertain future herself, the generosity of her spirit is evident. Her center is surrounded by lava. Her number one focus is to make sure that her moms are safe, healthy. It's always about the moms and how are the moms doing? How are, what are we gonna do for the moms? It's not about what are we gonna do for me or where am I gonna live? And this woman is um, incredibly selfless. She nurtures you through your pregnancy, she delivers your baby, and then she helps with the transition into becoming a new mom, brings out the innate mom that's already within you. The moms and the babies and the families need her and deserve that level of care. We feel supported and loved, and I think that's why all the moms want to rally up and support her because she was there for us when we needed her. And now Roxanne's moms have started a GoFundMe to support her. She's delivering babies, she's delivering mothers, she's creating families. Family friend Pulama, whose son was the first baby born at Luana Gardens, offers Roxanne's perspective. She's offering up that place so Pele can give birth. It's a it's a birthing place. 